Hello everybody and welcome to your Wednesday Lighting Critique. We have two animations to go through, then we're going to jump into some um, uh, a bit of a things in our stills over in Photoshop. So for today, um, let's start here with Mohammed. So Mohammed has this animated piece. Uh, we'll talk about some of the details, but I want to pull up a couple of his questions here. Um, number one, uh, I was wondering uh, when I want to make a render layer just for my lights uh, that I can edit them with Nuke, how should I deal with the polygons? And it, it, it depends on what you want the lights to do. So if, if um, what, what generally happens is, you know, you'll create um, layers with, with your light, like each one of the lights separated out, like imagine a key fill rim situation. So you'll have your key yeah, light, yeah. yeah. So you have your key light on, and then you only render out just the key light, right? And then you only render out just the fill light turned on, and then only render out just the the rim light turned on. Actually, actually, I don't have any key lights, so all of my lights is all the all of my lights are the lights in the A street. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so I want to. Yeah. So let's let, let's take let's oh. take for example like that you just want to render the the headlights separately, right? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So for that, what I would do is I would I would keep the the all the other material attributes exactly as they are. Um, and then it just you literally would just like turn off all the other lights because what, what happens is if you turn off um, elements like if you if you change the texture or let's say you change the um, stop this or stop switching. Oh, wait, I can't. Why can't I click this? There we go. Um, if if we change the texture on the street. Um, let's say that there was like a bump or displacement here, the light would actually behave differently on the street. So we want that light communicating with the street in the same way. Uh, and then then all we would do is in the comp, we would plus those elements together. Uh, being careful not to plus together the alpha channels because that would, that would like as an additive process. So, um, you wouldn't want to do that because that would that would make an alpha channel go from one to two to three and, and, and so forth. So, but but the biggest thing is is you would just take you would just keep the the shaders as is and then you would, you would plus them together in the comp operation. So, do you mean should they turn off the visibility or no? Just when you say the visibility, do you mean um, uh, in the Arnold tab? Mm -hmm. So, primary visibility that we can turn off the. Uh, it was in the Arnold. Tab. Yeah, 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 for sure. But but I don't I uh, I don't like the primary visibility on the objects themselves, because that yeah, would yeah, yeah. that would mean the light wouldn't hit them at all. So I don't think I don't think uh, that would be the way to go. I think, I mean, you would only do that if, like, primary visibility is really good to turn off if you're only trying to have something appear in reflections and not actually like appear in the scene. Um, let me. In fact, this is. Uh, this is so funny sometimes. When I have things recording, I can't actually access my menu bar. Um, uh, I'll take, let me think. Let me think how, to, how best to demonstrate this. Um, so, you know, because I have many lights, so I have to render all the scenes with the light and objects, so it's taking many times. So. Sure. Sure. I mean, like that, that, that happens in complex scenes. Like, oh. so you, I mean, like in a scene like this, if you wanted to render the lights separately, I, you'd render, um, like just the street lights, uh, you'd render, you could render just the headlights, um, turned on, but really you don't have to, the good thing is, is you don't have to mess with the geometry. Like you can just, uh, render out those lights, um, and all the objects. And then when you put them together, um, it's, it's everything as it would look here. It's just, they're separated out. So you have control over them in, in the comp. Um, uh, I can set up, uh, if you'd like for tomorrow, I can set up an example and show that during the critique. Oh, yes, sure. Yeah, yeah, yes, I, sure. I, I, I can do that. So yeah, I can do that in another scene. So, I, like I said, unfortunately, sure. my computer's being a little janky right now, but, but I'll get that set up for you tomorrow. Um, no thank you. Yeah, no problem. And, and, then, and then for your other question about the volumetric behind the car, I tried to, um, you can add an, like an environmental fog um, into the scene. You can also utilize the Z-depth. Of, of a scene and build up haze that way um uh that those are those would probably be my um those would be my two two examples of how to do that um i think yeah i think so if you have a z-depth render 
of this, uh, it'll give you a black to white fall off of um, the space, like all the objects as they get further away from camera. Like it'll actually get, it'll go from black in the foreground to white in the background. You can use that mm -hmm. and use that to drive um, uh, some, so, like some kind of haze effect in there uh, and color shift as you go back in space. Uh, additionally, you can, uh, like I said, you can use, I believe it's environmental fog in, um, in Arnold is the name. I always, all the, all the renderers get, get, uh, get, my, get jumbled, jumbled in my brain and I mix up the names all the time. But, uh, if you check the, uh, uh, lighting and animated film course in the exterior shot, I do use a little bit of a, uh, an aerial perspective or an atmospheric fall off in that. Uh -huh, yeah. So just look for that lecture yeah, sure. and I'll show you the step by step on how to, how to get that set up. Um, and then, and then sure. we can show Thank you. How to, you. Yeah, of course. Um, in terms of the do you, and then in terms of the shot itself, a couple things stand out like this hard line across the ground, um, where it looks like there's like the material changes and and, and around this manhole cover, um, kind of stand yeah, out. Yeah, I fix it. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I fix. Yeah, it's an old version, so I oh, do. Oh, do you, do you, do you want? Yeah. yeah, okay. If you want, we can hold off until we have a newer version that we can. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, oh, got it. got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, cool. Sorry, I missed the second note there. Thank you. <laughs> You're very welcome. No problem. No problem. Thank you. All right, cool. Um, okay, so next up we have Cat. So let's take a look. This is our. We got this animated out. Um, I'll play through once. So one of the things that happens with, I think that the timing of that light popping on gets kind of hidden because it okay. happens at a time when, when the camera speeds up, it's like happening in the same moment. So you kind of, uh, I think that you should do it. Um, I'm trying to think if you should do it either during the backflip, like it pops on here or it pops okay. on there. Like I, I pick one and, and that way the audience would feel it a little more cause it's kind of, it's kind of lost in a frenetic energy. Of, of that drop down. Um, okay, I think I've had it earlier. Yeah. I think I had it early on the first version. Yeah, I think, yeah, because it, it goes on like right, right in there, and that's like it goes on right there, and it, that's at the exact same spot that everything kind of speeds up and we lose it. So I think I uh, think it, I think it would be cool if it happened up like here, like boom. To kind of I think I, I, yeah, I think before I had it too early. Now I have it too late. Yeah. Next time it'll be right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then I think it's interesting. So with the, let me start. Oh, I see. Okay. I was wondering where the green light was coming from on her. It's from this thing. I think um, we should. I actually light coming through the robot so I wanted the light to be shining on her it's kind of like spotlighting her mm -hmm. like he's looking at her so that's why I was debating if I wanted to keep his mask emissive or not but yeah. it kind of looks kind of stupid so I might get rid of that and just keep it on other stuff it was just an idea I was tinkering with when I started no it's not, it's not a bad idea because I, I like the idea of it bringing a sense of danger to her what I, what I would like to see changed is I think that we should go away from the green color because it just makes her look um, it's not great for her. So I would neutralize it and make it a white light or, or something like, I, I'd probably just make it a, a white light for that. Um, okay. and, and it, it almost feels like a street light or a car light coming at her. Um, okay. and then. Do we like the glowy on the mask or not? I keep going back and forth on that. Like the glowy on the faceplate of the robot. Let's see. Like, I don't know. I haven't turned down pretty low because I didn't want it to be like a big halo. Yeah, I think it's okay. I think it's good. Okay. Let's 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 see how it progresses with the rest of it. But I think, yeah, it's interesting. It's interesting because I would. Uh, it's fine. I would say I would want a little bit more glowiness out in front because it's almost like it's like it's light projecting out that way as opposed to, um, because okay. it's kind of a little bit two dimensional that way. Um, okay. And then, and then one of the things, okay, so we've got, we've got all this like warm light on them. Cool. She flips over and then, okay. So one of the things here is that 
the material like because I the spotlight ends between the two characters, um, okay. and and it makes the makes the robot feel extra orangey, and to the point where they, they don't quite like. Hmm, it's really tricky. I almost feel like the the robot should be a little bit in the spotlight too, so we we lose some of that orange. Um, because I think I think it's too different than the lighting on her right now. Like it does it doesn't they don't sync up as much, and I want a little okay. bit less of that warmth on him, and then yeah. I think that the light it's kind of a it's the light kind of a cool color. What you may be seeing the orange. I have a big bounce card mm -hmm. that I may. Reflecting some orange light from the side tunnel. Yeah, it, have, it might really. It, it, it's just about like the kind of universal orange on him. That's a. It's a little. It's a little bit strong. And the other thing okay. too is that um, her shoe is like a matte black, and we kind of lose it. It'd be cool if we got some sort of like. And same thing when when she's kind of flipping over here, we kind of lose the shoe in there. It'd be cool if it had like a, some sort of speckiness or something to it, um, like some sort of like. Like, because th those types of shoes have like a hard plastic or something on them that'll give it a little bit more. Um, okay. Yeah. Anybody else have any thoughts? And then, oh, sorry, last one. And there's some uh, hard shadows on this stuff. It, it's actually kind of strange. I guess it's the butt of the handle, but like, yeah, the, the shadows are a little bit sharp in here. Oh, okay. I'll see what light is doing that and just make the radius bigger. Mm -hmm. That should help. Perfect. I've got so many, so many of the lights in the scene bouncing around. I'm like, which mm -hmm. light is that? <laughs> All right. And yeah. also, uh, just so you guys know, there's uh, I'm getting uh, Eddie from Griffin Academy sending over uh, an, uh, an effects element for this shot too. If anyone wants to throw some some uh, others, uh, some more sparks in there too, so I'll post that in a bit. Yeah. Hey Danny, what, what were you gonna say? I wanted to ask the the blue glow that you have on his mask in the beginning. Did mm -hmm. you take it off in the middle, or is it, or is it, did it move or something? What do you mean? I, I'm trying to figure out where the blue, the blue, the blue glow from the beginning. Well, it's well, two different. Well, it's two different robots. That's a good it's question, though. That's a good question, though, because. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good question though. Should the second robot have it too? Like, are they? Are they I meant to put it there. It would get to be yellow to match his outfit. Mm. Um, I'll make a match. Uh, I can make it blue. I just hadn't done it yet because I was doing all this other stuff. Um, I can add that emissive to his face. I probably should just so they match. He's mm. a boss robot, so he should have like he should even look better. <laughs> so I made him gold. He's like the boss robot. It's funny. <laughs> it's funny because that 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 probably like it all happened so fast. That mm -hmm. it's I, it's a struggle to even know that there are two different ones, let alone their hierarchy. <laughs> so I would I would I would keep them as just like two two like keep them. I mean, you can make it oh, different if you want, but but it, it'll be harder to to get that to read from the audience. But this guy already has green, so if you're going to add glow, do green because he okay. has already yeah stuff. Yeah, because in I the end, like the knife. huh? I really like how you did the knife in the end. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Okay. They won't even show themselves. They're so afraid. They will not even. Oh, it's the guy. It's so. Oh, come on, man. He says GG. They won't. Sorry, it's so funny. All right. So we were one of the biggest things that we were working on previously was like this pop between this and this, um, and I think I think the timing is good. It's just there's just something consistent. You know what it is? I think I like this level of light on his face after it turns on, I just think we should tone it down. Like the, the light specifically hitting the front of his face, I think we should tone it down in the game. Like in like t tone that down 
when he's playing the game and then have that pop more as we hit here. Okay. So like before the red flashes, yeah. Yeah. Before the before the red flashes, it should be about a third to half of the, the, the of this value. To really kind of like okay. even if because I want him to be like dimly lit so that I want the audience kind of leaning in to see him and then and then as it pops up then it's cuz it's like again the difference between me looking at a black screen and me looking at a white screen that that really shines my face up. I would say I mean like literally I I've noticed this I I was I had a meeting late last night and I had I was switching back and forth to writing notes on Google Drive and then going back and when I when I was looking at myself in the window my face would like glow and then get real dark and then glow and then get real dark. So I think I think even like looking, like opening a Zoom session and looking at how your face looks, how much different it looks with a white screen versus a, a black screen, um, and going from right. there. Right. It's just like I, because uh, like I want it to be like dark when they're in the game, and then like a bright, like you die. Sure. Thing pops She's rendering light AOVs, um, mm -hmm. which I'm not like too familiar with at this point. Um, mm -hmm. I can't use them. Is it? Is it just easy enough to half? that light or whatever like reduce yeah. the level or is it yeah as long as as long as as long as it's rendered separately for sure um it depends on how she set up her light groups uh sure. my assumption is like because i i would do that because i like to do this to, like the 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 pulsating and the i, I like to do all that stuff in nuke because you because you can change it really quickly um mm -hmm. so i i i would guess that she probably has that separated out and can just like you know with an with a grade note or something just reduce it by half in in nuke and just see what it looks like so let me ask about that if you have time like when you when you add all your uh, so i've been just doing like render layers and uh it's like my it's like my different surface attributes get like their own like they plus them together and then they eventually equal the beauty layer right. or whatever right right with but when you're plussing those all together they already have the lights in them so then how do you take out how do you add in lights like is it literally just minus the light AOV and then re-adding it in yeah. to adjust? Okay. Yeah. yeah, you could. That's one okay. way to do it, or you could just not have that light in the original passes. Um, right, right, right. Okay. But you could. But you could. Yeah, you can. It's. It's. It would be a normal practice to minus that out and then add it back in after making some adjustments to it. Okay. You try it. I mean, okay. like, I, I, I don't think it would cause problems. It might. I mean, but I think. I think that. That's how I would do it. But even so, if it causes problems, you can always just render without that key light in front mm -hmm. of his face, and then render with the key light, and then have full control that way. So yeah, okay. and I think I I like this depth of field. I think th the stuff here could maybe come down a couple of pixels of blur, um, okay. and then his teeth are a little gritty in some of the frames. It's funny because they're bright back here, like right there, they're bright. And then they get darker in there. So just have her check the teeth too. Okay. Um, and and this this might be easy in the comp too. Um, the wall color and the ceiling color is is like identical. I wonder just for the composition of it if it would be better to like paint the wall a color. Just make that slightly. Different. Okay. Yeah, see, yeah, yeah. see if that works. You might be able to just grab the crypto and yank the hue around or something. Yeah. All right, cool. Let's see. Let, you know, we'll see what that gets us. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. All right, cool. Uh, cool, thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, let's 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 run through these. Um, all right, we're getting closer on the candles. These look good. Oh, these look good up here. Why is that not working? Yeah, I think I fixed the one oh, in the back. That's green. Oh, that one. That's ah. I I couldn't get my circles working right. Those look good. That one looks a little too green. But everything else, yeah, I think, is looking. Good. I think I think everything else is looking good. Do you guys have any thoughts? That looks good. No, that looks good. All right, and then for the robots, this was the uh, the with the standard shader, and this is with more of a metal shader on it. I really like the metal shader. I think that looks way better, personally. What do you think, Danny? As it is, it's it's very blown out. Mm -hmm. But I like the variation that it gives it. I like I like I like that. Um, like I think, yeah, I think it can be toned down a little bit. 
Uh, I, I mean, it changes him, uh, the look of him, quite a bit. But I, 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 I like, I like it. I think, I think, it, I think it adds a little more, um, uh, uh, lo- adds a level of interest to him. It could be broken up, maybe a little more in some of the rusty. And you know what? No, uh, let's just keep it as is because it kind of breaks up the rusty spots a little bit. What, do, what do you guys think? I like it. I think you're right. It needs to be toned down a bit, yeah. and just we have to deal with that hot spot from the book because obviously it's round, mm-hmm. so it doesn't connect. But that's just something you'll have to play with and figure out. That's a really good point too. Yeah, it's just it's not quite the right shape. But I, I mean, for me, for me, I I, I think it's cool. Yeah, I, I like the shine a lot better. Mm-hmm. Any dissenting opinions? Anybody think I mean, the opposite? I think basically the same. So, like, is it it's a new shader or is this a new render plus on top of the old shader? It looks like a new shader. I create. I I made it all metal and then I just took the spec channel and screened it over. Okay. I just like yeah. I think you were saying like some of the like I think the reflections near the right eye are really cool. That mm-hmm. hot spot. It's like if you can somehow reduce that by like. 25 to 30 mm-hmm. percent in the very front like i think you're that looks that would look cool to me that's what i would do anyway yeah one start th- one thing that might happen is we might start to see some of these like rust uh rust points coming through um uh, and if that's the case then it might not make sense that they're as specky as the non-rust parts so you may need to adjust the specular map uh, to match the color map, like just take the color map and 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 make it black and like and adjust it so it controls some specularity, so it's a little less specular in those little pockets of rust. Does that make sense? Cool. Yeah. yeah. Cool. All right, great. All right, Kevin, you are here, so let's uh, let's take a look at this. I think the neon looks a lot better. I think that was I think that was a really really good note by Danny to to adjust it to purple. I think the live band one back there looks really cool. Um, I think the characters look good. Does anybody have any thoughts on this one? Or, or anyway? I, Go ahead. I have a question that's maybe like two parted. So, one, I know there was a concern about the back left light getting too bright. Mm-hmm. Does this have? I don't think it has. But does this have like a? Uh, oh my gosh, I'm I'm drawing a blank on the name. Where the <laughs> corners go dark. Um, Vignette? Vignette? Yeah, yeah, does it have a vignette? On, on the full frame, yeah, there's a little bit of a vignette. Okay, cool. So that's my second question. Have you ever been in a situation where you've put a vignette on just, like, the background? Like, like does that ever happen to, like, solve an issue? I've never done that. I don't know if that was... I mean, I've never done it either. Does, I don't know if that's, like, at all a practice or... I've never even thought of that yeah. idea. It can be. Um, the one thing that you want to watch out for is a vignette on these types of things is it can kind of clamp it down. I, I'm not noticing the vignette. It, it would usually be more substantial than this. Um, yeah, but subtle, I don't like to see. Yeah. It. Yeah, I think, I, think it, I think it works. I mean, the other thing is you could draw the vignette shape so it's more like this mm-hmm. and less, you know, and, like, and just kind of cuts out that corner. Um, I've done that a lot. But, is um, it because you notice how it kind of it's a little bit less bright than yeah it just like it clamps it clamps a neon light which is like well that's not like that it just makes the vignette more apparent so I'll play, I can play with it because yeah. I'm not actually sure if it is the vignette or if it actually just is the way the glow mm-hmm. works on because it's just like a, it's like a flat image it's yeah. not like any kind yeah. of model 3D or anything yeah <laughs> the way it's messing with the color off the picture yeah and then one question there are these like these two shapes are those signs or what uh what are those i think there's there's signs like pictures they're actually okay. neat as well but i had to tone them down quite a bit yeah go out the image and if i need to go more on that i can do that yeah i think so because i was like i was like I, I just couldn't quite pick out what those were yeah because you can't they're not legible with the window and everything in front of it yeah 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 but i think i think everything else looks good all right, so let's see. We have oh, it's reference from Jen. Um, let's see. Oh, we have this. Ready? Um, okay, cool. Let's go through every, uh, all the rest. Um, Holly, this looks like I, I like I like the glowy little bit on his face. Uh, it might be a little strong. I would take it down a little bit, but I like the idea of it. I would add an ambient occlusion inside the car. I think we can get some more contact shadows. 
on some of these edges and some of these creases, I think that would help out. Um, character's eyes are getting better. I think they're still a little bit too saturated. Let's see. Want them to quite that decision. But maybe a little darker than that too. But just bring them down just a little bit more. Maybe something a little bit more like that. I like I like the size of them too. And yeah, I like this the size of them are, is is is, is much, much better. The eye white on the screen left side is a little bit bright too. Um, I think we could still get a little bit more fill value on her screen left side. I think it's a it still kind of grays out a little bit. And then um, her skin tone still feels a little bit red and his doesn't quite feel warm enough. So I would bring up his warmth and bring hers down a little bit. Um, little girl on the left looks good. At some point we may want to bring in a little bit of like a kick or a rim light on her screen left side just to get a little variation in there. But I, I, th I think she looks good as is for right now. And... Yeah, I think those are the big notes for now. Just be, and, and I was saying that on this side, just because we see such a good, a strong, uh, like rim on her. In fact, this rim might need to come down just a little bit too. Yeah. All right, cool. And uh, lastly, we have uh, an update from Jen. So I wanted to take a look at a reference here. Uh, we've got these um, extremely colorful. Uh, <laughs> buildings that are looking really nice. I, I, it's a beautiful design for Zitty. Um, it's interesting though, cause like, I'm trying to think, why is this reading? I wonder if you could find, I guess this is, this is as close to night as we've got, like a, a, a darker, like a nighttime version of this. It's just that the, the, like this is definitely a, an improvement over the last iteration. Um, the colors feel more homogenous and more set into the scene a little bit. Yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm muttering to myself. I'm just wondering, like I like the shadows up here. I think those look a lot better. Um, we've got the light escaping through there. There's just something um, that feels like we're missing bump on this. Uh, and also, yeah, because the, the wall and, and the door especially feel very flat. Like, it, they don't feel like they actually have a tactile nature to them. Um, the way that the, like, the ground has some really nice specular breakup from this kind of roughness bump that you have on there. I think that's working really well. And I think that's looking really good. It looks similar to this. It would be great to get a little bit more color variation in there. Um, like you can see these kind of brighter oranges and blues from the sky. Um, and I think that we could, we could pull some of that off too. Like, especially this light could probably go a little bit warmer, both in the source and in the reflection on the ground. Um, just wondering if the skylight is, is just too purple saturated too. It's tough to tell if this building is, is that color, I guess, you know, looking at this here, um, I think that it should either go a little, like the sky color should go a little bit brighter if we're gonna be that saturated with it to kind of match this, or just pull off a little bit more of that saturation. Um, and that should fit in well. One of the things that we'll need to do is add some specularity um, to, the, to these leaves on the screen left side. They look very flat and leaves like that have like a, a waxy coat to them. So there, there is like a specular uh, a little specular hit on them. And then I like the shapes you've got in the windows. I think those are working out pretty well. 
it's just yeah I think I think those are the biggest notes for now does anyone else have any thoughts on this I, there's there's ways of improving it's also also I should say this too the depth of field feels a little funny right now like this wall and these feel out of focus but those feel in focus so just just double check to make sure that that's making some sense somebody chimed in yeah, that was me. It just it feels like it it's somewhere between painted and three D. Yeah. Like if you're looking at all the and um, stuff like the val the boss and the fruit, mm -hmm. that looks very painted. Yeah. But the ground looks three D. So yeah. just need to maybe put some plaster shaders on the walls and, and tweak with that a little bit. Yeah. But yeah, it looks like she's halfway between. Yeah, no no no, totally. <laughs> And if you if you if if you want to if you want to go yeah if you want to go stylized like this we can totally do that we would just need to push it a little bit more that there's just some like you know like these dark doorways um, and some other there there are other things that we can do to kind of uh, to really amp up that car, like a cartoony style like that it's really it's really all all about what you want um, yeah but really thanks for, but thank you for providing that reference that's great I'm just wondering if there's an AO pass on it or not yeah. Yeah, that would definitely, I mean, this corner in particular would benefit from something like that. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that, would, that would definitely help out as well. AO is ambient inclusion, I should say that. Sometimes I, I got used to get thrown off by that early in my career, like, I don't know what AO means. Um, very cool. All right, well, that is all for today, guys. Uh, like I said, Mohammed, if you're you're still on, I will uh, set up a just a simple pass to show you the kind of like the additive light process of 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 building up something. And um, if you guys need anything else, let me know. But I will talk to you all tomorrow. All right, be good, everybody. See you soon.